नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं केस राजवीर आपका अकेडमी और यूट्यूब एजुकेटर और दोस्तों आज आपके साथ एक बेहतर डिसीजन लेकर के आपने टाइटल देख ही लिया है और लर्नर्स अगर आपने टाइटल देख लिया है तो मैं बस इसी पॉइंट पर आपके साथ डिस्कस करने वाला हूं एंड लर्नर्स वी आर गोइंग टू जस्ट लर्न ऑल अबाउट मेटा फिजिकल पोएट्स एंड पोइट्री सो लर्नर्स सबसे पहले फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कुछ भी जानने से पहले मैं आपको कंफर्म कर दूं कि आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो अगर आपके एग्जाम में मेटाफिजिकल पोइट्री या पोएट से रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन आएगा सो इससे बाहर नहीं होगा लर्नर्स मेटा एंड फिजिकल सो सबसे पहले लर्नर्स हम इस वर्ड को लर्न कर लेते हैं कि क्या है ये मेटा एंड फिजिकल सो मेटा मीन्स मेटा मीन्स दिस मीन्स बियॉन्ड बी ई वाई ओ एन डी बियॉन्ड एंड फिजिकल सो जैसे बोलते फिजिक इट मीन्स बॉडी सो यू कैन से बियॉन्ड बॉडी अब लर्नर्स अगर इसको हम थोड़ा सा और अच्छे से समझे देन हमें एक चीज और समझ में आएगी सो दैट इज अ काइंड ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल अ काइंड ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल और इस रिलेटेड टू स्पिरिचुअलिटी सो मेटा फिजिकल पोइट हुई इज अ काइंड ऑफ पोइट हुई दैट इज गोइंग टू डील विद द स्पिरिचुअल एस्पेक्ट नाउ लर्नर्स मैं और भी से क्लियर करता हूं When we talks about metaphysical poets and poetry, so first of all, who coined the term metaphysical poets or poetry? So learners, हमारे पास बहुत सारे नेम हैं. One is Drummond, another is John Dryden, and another one is Samuel Johnson and T. S. Eliot. Two learners next slide में हैं. I have T. S. Eliot. So learners, let's see. Drummond was the person. He was a Scottish poet, a Scottish poet, and he was the first critic who wrote about metaphysical writers. Drummond was the first person, but he never coined the term or he never talks about John Donne and all. Now, learners, another critic, important critic, critic. and he is john dryden from neoclassical era restoration time period so john dryden what john dryden say, said so he said he affects the metaphysics not only in his satires but in his amorous verses john dun he who is he so he is john dun John Dryden ने लर्नर्स एक वर्ड लिखा एंड दिस इज अ डिस्कोर्स कंसर्निंग द ओरिजिनल एंड प्रोग्रेस ऑफ शटायर 1693, 1693 और यहां पर जब लर्नर्स उन्होंने लिखा सो व्हाट ही सेड कि ही अफेक्ट्स द मेटा फिजिक्स बट नॉट मेटा फिजिकल पोएट्स एंड ऑल ही जस्ट ही इज गोइंग टू टॉक ऑल अबाउट metaphysics that is beyond bodily description beyond bodily description so he said not only in his satire but in but in his amorous verses later on unhone aur bhi likha where nature only should reign and perplexes the minds of the fair sex with nice speculation of philosophy when he should engage their hearts and entertain them With the softness of love, and learners, your exam me kya aata hai? So this is he affects the metaphysics not only in his satires but in his amorous verses. Is the statement by whom? So this is by John Dryden. And in which word? So discourse concerning satire. Learners, discourse concerning satire is same bolte original progress and satire complete title. Now you have another important. critic so he is samuel johnson known as dr samuel johnson he has written dictionary learners john dryden ne metaphysical terms ko coin nahi kiya so who coined the term metaphysical poets or poetry so dr samuel johnson was the person 
who first used the word metaphysical school of poetry. So, Dr. Samuel Johnson ने इस टर्म को क्वाइन किया metaphysical school of poetry. Okay, let us got it. Metaphysical school of poetry. And क्या लिखा उन्होंने? So, he has written a work entitled Lives of the Most Eminent English Poets. This is really a wonderful work. Lives of the Most Eminent English Poets. And learners, this is known as one of the best example of biographical criticism. Lives of the most, uh, most eminent English poets. And learners, generally, this work is known as Lives of the Poets. And in, in this work, in this work, on the very first chapter, in which chapter? Very first first chapter of lives of the most eminent English poets. What he has written? Abraham Cowley is the name of that chapter on Abraham Cowley. He wrote at the beginning of 17th century there appeared a race of writers that may be termed the metaphysical poets. The term metaphysical poets was coined by Dr. Samuel Johnson. Okay. And learners, ek aur aapke liye question hai. That is, ki kya ye positive tha ya negative statement tha? So, Dryden and Samuel Johnson, both ne just perspective ke saath is word ko use kiya. Metaphysics, metaphysical poets. So, ye criticize karne ke liye tha. Not for praise purpose. At the beginning of 17th century, there appeared a race of writers that may be termed the metaphysical poets and they are going to show the excessive use of wit and reason in their poetry. So this is what learner Samuel Johnson in his Lives of the Most Eminent English Poets on the chapter Life of Cowley has written. Got it. And proceeding learners, now see what are the main characteristics of metaphysical poetry so metaphysical poetry has a number of a number of characteristics first of all you will find plato depiction of platonic love and that is the love beyond body the love beyond body let us john dunn john dunn is the most important metaphysical poet and वो प्यार करते थे और उनका नाम था एन मूर और लर्नर्स ही वाज रिलेटेड टू क्लर्जी सोसाइटी चर्च से रिलेटेड थे चर्च की सर्विसेज से एंड एन मूर के जो फादर थे वो बिल्कुल भी जॉन को पसंद भी नहीं करते थे कि जॉन उनसे शादी करे एन मूर के साथ बट जॉन ने कुछ पोएट्री लिखना शुरू किया एंड दिस इज Beyond bodily depiction of his love. Now see learners what are the main characteristics. So first of all philosophical argument. Philosophical argument. Extravagant you can say far faced imageries. Huge or far faced imageries. You have one of the best poem by John Donne. That is. Valediction for wedding morning. Benediction forwarding morning is one of the best poem and the flea another poem by John Donne that is going to represent a far-faced imagery as well as terseness of expression profusion of metaphysical conceit where thought and profusion of thought and feelings both both and learners you can see metaphysical for conceit question is point seven that what is metaphysical conceit? So learners, this is a kind of conceit. This is a, uh, you can say, comparison between two dissimilar things. Metaphysical conceit or conceit can be defined as the, as the, you can say, comparison between two dissimilar things. Two dissimilar things. And learners, you can also see the hearts meters. So, uh, uh, conceit ka example you can see in um, the flea 
and on you can say on uh, well addiction forbidding morning जहां पर लवर्स को लवर्स एंड बिलेविट को कंपेयर किया गया है कैसे विद कंपास की ट्वीन जो ट्वीन टिप है उनके साथ यानी कि जो ये दो सुइया हैं इसकी कंपास की उनसे वन इज फिक्स्ड बिलेविट इज फिक्स्ड फिट एंड देन लर्नर लवर सो लवर इज अनदर वन अनदर लेग ऑफ दैट कंपास जो राउंड करती है सो दैट इज वॉट लर्नर्स यू कैन सी मेटा फिजिकल कंसीड सो दिस इज अ फार फेस्ड इमेजरी दैट हैज बीन यूज्ड, अ फार फेस्ड इमेजरी एंड दिस इज मेटा फिजिकल कंसीड नाउ लर्नर्स यू कैन सी सम इंपॉर्टेंट अदर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग हेरोल्ड ब्लूम वॉट हेरोल्ड ब्लूम सेज अबाउट मेटा फिजिकल पोइट्री सो ही सेड रिचार्ड इज द बैड किंग बट एन इंटरेस्टिंग मेटा फिजिकल पोएट यस Richard is a bad king, but an interesting metaphysical poet who says Harold Bloom. जिन्होंने लिखा Anxiety of Influence. This is the work by Harold Bloom. Another learner's uh, statement you can see see by John Dunn. So he said Dunn must be a great poet, but he is not a good writer. He must be a good poet or great poet, but he is not a good writer at all. So this is the statement by John Dryden. And learners, this is the more, one of the important thing ki meta physical poets kaun kaun se hai? Because uh, which among the following is not a meta physical poet? Who is which? Uh, who among the following is not a a meta physical poet? Or who among the following is a meta physical poet? This may be the question in your exam. so you can see john dun herbert george herbert richard grissa henry wogan and then you have robert herrick and uh, you have thomas carew and you marvel and then you have abraham cowley and on the same chapter life of cowley samuel johnson ne word use kiya tha meta physical poets ko so learners You can also see कि ये जो मेटाफिजिकल पोइट हुई है जिसको जॉन डन ने लिखा एंड मेटाफिजिकल स्कूल ऑफ पोइट दैट इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट सो ये फेम्ड कब हुआ क्योंकि ड्राइडन सैमुअल जॉनसन सब ने तो क्रिटिसाइज किया था सो ये फेमस कब हुआ सो लर्नर्स ड्यूरिंग ट्वेंटी एथ सेंचुरी यू हैव एन इंपॉर्टेंट नेम टी एस एलियट टॉमस इस्टर्न एलियट एंड टॉमस इस्टर्न एलियट इन हिज AC what he has written so in his essay the metaphysical poets 1921 metaphysical poets this is the name of the essay metaphysical poet 1921 he coined the term dissociation of sensibility for metaphysical poets this is really one of the wonderful thing thing for you and let us jump to your eliot ne ye essay likha so jo metaphysical poetry hai वो पॉपुलर हो गई सो दिस इज वॉट लर्नर यू कैन सी ओके सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन दिस क्लास जॉन ड्राइडन सैमुअल जॉनसन एंड देन टी एस एलियट एंड मेटा फिजिकल पोएट्री एंड अ फ्यू कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मेटा फिजिकल पोएट्री सो लर्नर्स अब अगले वीडियो में मैं जरूर मिलूंगा आपके आपसे और इफ यू लाइक इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियो सो प्लीज uh you can thumbs up for the video and make a comment and you can also join my crash course at at an academy and let us see jo crash course hai this is really wonderful for you i am going to cover a uh, paper 2 and let us uh, already started hai ye hamara jo crash course hai and you can use the referral code this is aks rasveer by using this referral code you are going to get 10% extra discount and we have crash course with practice and then now see for paper 1 we have also a plan so this is crash course for paper 1 in hindi medium and english medium so top educator at an academy we are going to deal with paper 1 and paper 2 too so learners this is what you can see on your screen and use referral code aks rasveer by using this referral code you are going to get 10% extra discount and if you have any kind of query so do message me on this number or you can join my telegram group search me on google literature lovers or aks rajveer telegram so learners thank you so much and if you have not subscribed till now so please do subscribe my youtube channel and please share with your friends so that 
दैट इज वीडियो भी अच्छा लगे आपको अगर तो प्लीज आप जरूर शेयर जरूर कीजिएगा सो so, लर्नर्स आज की क्लास के लिए बस इतना ही अगली क्लासेस में फिर से मैं मिलूंगा आपसे तब तक के लिए नमस्कार एंजॉय कीजिए और स्टे से